What's good everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel. We're here should of course Machiavelli. And today we're back with another Sims Force people. In today's people, we are going to be making Well no, we're gonna be finishing up a modern build. So I have two modern builds that I need to finish up. Um I just wanna do a quick shout out for that person who asked me to make a suburban like hub uh, Hampton style house. I listened to you. I've actually made it. I was actually gonna upload it today, but I decided that I didn't want to have too much looming builds going on, and so I want to go ahead and finish one. So I went ahead and finished this one. Um, is it totally done? Not, but I absolutely love the way it came out. I didn't get to touch the upstairs, which I never really do, but I kind of wanted to go there and do a little touch-ups, but I didn't get to do that. Um, this just was enough time. I'm in the, actually in the middle of doing an assignment with my group. I just took a little bit of a break, I let, like a two-hour break. I'm still in the middle of the break to get it done. To get this done, I'm pretty sure my steam mates are kind of mad that I'm not working on it, but don't worry, it's not due till tomorrow, but I got time. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so I took a little break to do this, so I don't have time to go back to do a little touch-up, so I'm going to do it a little bit later, but for now, you guys are going to get what you get, so I hope you all enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I want to go ahead and say hello to all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel, what's good, hope you all having, I hope you all doing great. Um, also, welcome to another day of the quarantine diaries. I got another fix yourself moment right now that we need to talk about, and I'm 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 on the fence about this. Actually, I'm not even on the fence. I am I'm pro fence for this one. Not fence, a kind of fence. I'll explain it in a second, but um, not really because anyways, moving on. But I'll talk about it in a second. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I hope you'll just build. I do truly. I'm gonna talk about this build a bit more, just a little bit more. Um, I do truly like this build. I I I didn't follow the color scheme of the thumbnail just because one I, I couldn't find the couch that they use I didn't have the CC to match up with it I tried to use everything I could but it didn't look right and then the south set I did use wasn't in that color scheme so I just changed it I ended up going with a white and black and blue I thought it looked really good to match like the blue in the picture in the thumbnail I thought that looks nice so I kind of used that as a offset um offset the what's it called again offset palette i don't know bro i'm speaking nonsense i have no clue what offset type of in this um sentence means right now i'm just speaking what i heard on hgtv don't mind me i have no clue what i'm talking about <laughs> i thought of once i'd sound sophisticated or whatever but i have no clue how it's turning out y'all can judge on that but yeah I, I but i do like it i oh but the best part is not even the living room it's the kitchen like the kitchen is so nice i love it it's high ceilings it's like a it's like a step down kitchen it's grand it is beautiful it's black i hardly ever make black kitchens so this is special it looks really nice i really love it i think that's the biggest reason why this build took so long is because i was stuck on the kitchen so i pretty much built this whole interior based off of this one image and that's hard trying to make a whole kitchen and the thing with my kitchens is i'm trying not to make it look similar and so when i was first trying to make the kitchen it just didn't look right and so i, I deleted it and i built it again then I deleted it then i built it again it just was stuck it was it was like it was annoying me and then i was like you know i'm just gonna leave it but i was like no i want to finish this off and because like i can't upload this without having a kitchen you know and so i don't know a thought just popped in my head um, I have no clue what I was looking at, but I just saw like a dip, maybe just dip the kitchen. You know what happened? You know what happened? I accidentally deleted the floor. That's what it was. I was, I was, um, because if you guys see the first layout, I, um, I was calling in, I made like an L shaped and then I put like a little back alley where I was going to put, um, a laundry room, but I accidentally deleted the floors. And then when I was like making it all back, I was like, wait, why well, maybe I like do a little dip or something. And so I tested it out on a little square and it looked pretty good, but again, it wasn't big enough. So I went ahead and I deleted the wall that was going to be the laundry room and I made it bigger and it looked so nice. And then I was able to fit in a nice little laundry room still by the front entrance to the back. So yeah, it's really nice. Honestly, I would love like this kitchen is like one of my dream kitchens but i was making this i'm like oh this kitchen looks so good i love the kitchen like that's my favorite part um actually question of the day what is your favorite part of the house like a house in general apartment house townhouse whatever it is what's your favorite part is it like the bedrooms the bathrooms the kitchen living room basement whatever it is let me know in the comments below my favorite is two the front foyer and the kitchen front foyer because like when you walk into your house you want it to feel not say grand but you just want it to feel very welcoming very homey just very 
you know, it, like if, if you walk into a very like my like my front entrance at my house is very stale. So when you walk home, you just feel at home because it's home. But like, you know, when you walk into like somebody's house or a house and it just the front entrance is uh, not amazes you, but it, it, like amazes you slash makes you feel comfortable slash puts, I don't know, that essence. I, I have no clue what I'm talking about, but you, I mean, hopefully you understand. Um, so that's why I love the front foyer and the kitchen is because I love to cook and the kitchen is a big thing for me. I love islands. I love, I just love big kitchens. I just, I see, I don't like big houses, but I love big kitchens. Kitchens are my thing. I think the kitchen is the most important part of a house, no matter what. Bedroom sizes, yes, I guess. But the kitchens, like if the kitchen is not the right size, the house just doesn't function. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's what I want to talk about. So that's pretty much it for me in the build. So today on Fix It. So there's a whole thing now that Florida, um, has opened up their beaches. Um, I think they're opening up their parks too. I don't know. But I know they opened up their beaches today. And I saw the photo of all people on the beach. And I don't know. I have mixed... I don't really have mixed feelings. I, I like... think is... The thing is... First of all, like, I... I don't... I honestly don't know why they did that. Maybe they did it because... I don't know why they opened up the beaches. Because with you, like... Like, again, I'm, not, I'm on the wall on it. Because on one side... <laughs> Like I, like, I know people that are dying from boredom, that don't want to stay in their house all day, are excited to go out and go swimming and do some actor, like, extra curricular, I don't know what the word is, but do some activities outside their house, which they can do, anyone can do, I feel like, um, if I, like, tell me if I'm wrong, but you're allowed to go out and do, like, exercise, or, I know in the UK, I don't think you're allowed to, I think in the UK you have, like, one hour, like, exercise or something, I have no clue how the UK system works, or how their, um, lockdown or whatever works, um, I know in Canada, they recommend you stay inside, like, you can go outside, you know, walk your dog, take a walk, but you have to stay within six feet of the next person beside you, or else you get fined a thousand dollars, mm -hmm. um, so, again, I don't know how it is in Florida, but I know that I could imagine that people will be bumping into each other, especially in the parking lots, you know, it just, it seems a bit crazy, but at the same time, it just feels like a little oasis for some people that are cooped up, so I would say fix yourself on that, so if, but uh, the fix yourself moment are for the people that are being reckless, like, if you're going to these places thinking that it's a holiday, it's a beach vacation, like, if from, like, honestly, if, if, like, if a week from now, a week from now, a few days from now, I start looking at pictures where people are bringing, like, you know, beach towels, like, I think the beach should be just for go, quick swim, go, don't bring your beach towel, don't bring a picnic, don't bring none of that, just go, quick walk, go back home. That's what it is for. You know, go get some fresh air, do something other than staying in your house or going for a walk, seeing the same scenery. Go to the beach quickly, then leave. But if you're the type of person to go, bring your beach towel, bring a picnic, think that it's like a beach vacation. No, that's not what it is. Like, that, that, that's where you fix yourself. Like, don't take advantage of a situation. It's, it's, like, it's like when you get a privilege... And then you like overstep your boundaries because you think you can get away with it. And then the whole thing goes away. So like I said, use it wisely. Um, again, this is not, again, this is not like a fix yourself moment. I don't think so. This is a discussion moment. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on the whole situation with Florida and opening up their beaches. I know for a fact if they opened up the beaches in Canada, I would, I personally know good for, I personally wouldn't go. Or say, should I say um, Ontario? I wouldn't go. Um, mainly because I, I don't really like the beach that much. I love to swim, but I don't, I don't like the beach that much. I don't know. I just, I just don't like swimming when I can't see what's under me. It, 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 it scares the living shiz out of me. Like this one time I did a handstand in the water and I touched a fish and I screamed like a little girl. I ran on shore and I didn't go swimming back for the rest of the day. So, um, yeah, I'm not too hyped about the beach, but I know for a fact that they opened up more of the parks. Uh, one thing that I, I'm just, I'm just so sad about all the conventions that I've been missing this summer. I had so much conventions lined up. I know those are not going to come back for, for like till next year and it sucks. Uh, like I have to like, and the other thing that's annoying me too, actually this is a fix it moment. The flipping airplanes, like Air, like Air Canada, United, all of them need to fix themselves. I flipping hate them. So I, I remember, I'm pretty sure I told you guys this, but. I booked a trip for me and my brother to go to Japan. Um, we're supposed to be leaving actually in two weeks, but we I I use the United um, thing right now. They have like free tr um, transfers, so you can transfer your flight. And so we and the thing, but the thing though is that pisses me off is it's not like you have a year long thing. Since this whole thing happened, you think it give you like a year long to use your ticket? No, it's from when you like 
ordered your ticket. So I, I ordered my ticket in September. So we're literally leaving the day I ordered my ticket. So the 24, I ordered my ticket on the 24th. We're leaving the 24th. That's the, that's the most I can expand it. But I honestly don't think this is going to be resolved by the 24th. So I'm like panicking on how am I supposed to go to Japan? What's going on? But honestly though, but I'm just, I'm just trying to think right now because that's September right now. Could you imagine? Because we're right now, we're in April. Could you imagine may being like this june being like this july if it ever if this like if this whole thing is going on and it's still and it's still going on by like august like i can only imagine like could you imagine because again we're just at the beginning of the year we're only september and it really feels like it's been like a, a year and a half march was the longest march of my life <laughs> i've never experienced such a long month before i thought it would never end and now September, now april is going and it's going by quite quickly we're actually reaching the end of april thank god and so i like bruh i don't i don't know we can handle this like i don't think people like i'm, I'm like thing is i'm a homebody i really am i don't, i love staying home a lot watching tv but like i want to like leave my house sometimes and go do something but i can't do that anymore because it's not there it's just it, it's getting to me and i honestly don't know how like people are so, people are gonna start i'm telling you people are gonna start cracking cracking if this if this like continues till august but anyway so back to the airport situation i can't cancel my flight and get my money i spent two thousand and something bucks on both of our tickets both of our tickets so i spent a thousand something dollars on our ticket and like if we cancel that trip we're not getting that money back and so i'm i'm like i'm sweating i'm gonna like kind of beg them if they can like like i feel like at least i know with air canada i think or WestJet, one of them they gave the they gave the ticket holders a two-year like voucher so they like so two years from now they can use their ticket like i wish you know, I could do that because i would take it because at the end of the day I'm, i still want to go to japan you know that's i i that's the only place of vacation that or korea and so i i have nowhere else to go so i i'll definitely use it again but just the fact that i like the fact that one i can't get a refund which sucks because again that's a lot of money that's a lot of money gone and two that i can't push the tickets back so i i'm sweating so yeah airports fix yourself like there's so much people that are like struggling right now that can't especially with the people losing their jobs could you imagine them saying okay you have a you have a trip in december but you have no job to like for you have no job to pay for anything when you get to the trip like could you imagine going on a trip broke that's pretty much what that's pretty much what's about to happen i'm telling you this world this world is <laughs> this world is becoming a crazy place it really is oh i can't i can't i can't i just 2020 go away come back again never <laughs> Honestly, I'm done with this year. It's only April and I'm done. Actually, I was done with this year in February. I February I had to cancel my trip and I was so pissed off. You see, China East, okay, hold up, no. China Eastern, shout out to you. They gave me back a full refund. No questions asked. I told them where I was going. They told them the situation. They actually knew the situation and they gave me a full refund. Like, shout out to them. China Eastern, you rock. It's funny too, because I had a grudge against China Eastern because uh back in when i went to japan the other time i didn't know that china had like a three month limit where if your passport expires in three months they can't you're not allowed to go into china i booked the ticket and my passport was literally i had like my passport was literally three day like three days over the three month limit and i couldn't go to china so they book a whole nother ticket i had to book a whole nother ticket and then i had to go oh that that oh that was a mission I cried that day. I laughed that day. I was worried that day. It was, it was, it was hectic. But anyways, enough with that. Hope y'all enjoyed this uh, commentary. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Again, hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you for growing with me. And we're going to get through this quarantine to get, we are going to get through this quarantine. Say it with me. We are going to get through this quarantine together, together, together. Together. <laughs> Anyways, bye guys.